Right, even fighting through grief, one family says the motto, Savon Strong, lives on. You know, it hurts, but we can smile on the inside. It's been almost two weeks now since the drowning that took the life of that 16-year-old Savon Small. These family photos paint part of the picture. Family says the Academy of Richmond County student athlete was strong. He was intelligent and funny. And for the first time tonight, his family is speaking about how they're trying to move forward. Our Nick Velan joins us in the newsroom. You were able to sit down with them. What are they feeling, Nick? Yeah, well, ever since Labor Day, they have been just taking this loss one day at a time. I just miss my baby. Moving on hasn't been easy. I can't explain it. Um, one minute it's numb because I don't want to believe it. The next minute it's, um, it's hurt. When I feel like I'm dreaming. Savon's mom will forever remember Labor Day. I said, God, just don't let my baby stay out there, please. Just bring his body up. And that's when they told me they found him. And I saw him, and he was lifeless. She's choosing now to remember how he lived. Today is the tomorrow you were so worried about yesterday. Mm. Keep going. For me to see that quote, you know, this is that tomorrow that I was worried about. And in that, he's telling me, keep going, Ma. And that's what I'm doing. During this time, a community that they've only been a part of for a year has made sure that they aren't alone. It hurts, but we can smile on the inside knowing that, you know, that our little king is, is, has impacted, looks like the world now, you know. His number 43 will be in the end zone all season as his football team at ARC dedicates their season to small. They continue to see and feel Savon with them every day, like at the balloon release when the rainy day turned dry, allowing for a sunset with a rainbow over the end zone. And that rainbow appeared and disappeared within a few minutes. It's like him saying, hey, it's like he was saying, hey, I'm here. And his parents are looking to continue his legacy with looking to make a nonprofit called Small Steps so that every kid can learn about how Savon lived, which was doing whatever it takes to make your dreams come true. Such a wonderful legacy. And have they scheduled services yet to lay him to rest? Yeah, they have. Savon will be laid to rest in Augusta on September 16th, and the family will also have a memorial in St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg, Florida, excuse me.